here I wanted to show you how to calibrate the uh, the, uh, the projector so uh, this is a program I wrote to assist in calibration all you need to do is enter the details that are required since our projector is uh, is in 4 to 3 mode I'm gonna enter that and um, the projector width uh, the projector resolution is 1024 by 768 I just need to enter 1024 the 768 will be calculated by the help of expect ratio and uh, so the calibration method uses a chessboard image um, uh, it gives the best results so I'm gonna use 8 by 5 chessboard and the minimum length of the square of the chessboard I will keep it as 40 um, uh, this is just to ensure that the chessboard image is big enough for the Kinect to realize to uh, like recognize so, and after that I just press enter so this will be a gray screen at first but here what you will see is that uh, like the calibration has started so what it will do is it will cover the whole area uh, uh, like one like one image after another and it will try to recognize the internal points of the chessboard so here you can see that uh, like the calibration is happening it is trying to identify the points and it is trying to adjust the captured image uh, to that of the projector so this is going to uh, run um, uh, until all the area that is being projected upon is, co is covered so this is one thing and then uh, if suppose if it gets stuck in a loop or you can press escape and just stop it so and then of, of course we would require the sand to be flattened so that we get as flat image as possible so now the calibration is completed and uh, this is an image artifact you, it is nothing to worry about like what you can do is you can just simply check if your if the shadow if your hand is creating any shadow or or anything like in this case the, it's not creating any um, this is actually due to the uh, the feedback that the camera gets uh, it's um, it's not something that can be handled by me at this point of time but um, if you are seeing this and if you if your hand sh if the shadow of your hand is uh, um, uh, is aligning to with your hand then uh, it is pre pretty much done and uh, that's all after that what you do is you just press keep pressing escape till uh, you exit this window and once you exit this window it's going to show you press any key to exit and this is the detail this is the matrix that we actually need in inside unity uh, to pass on to the shader and So that's all and this generates a calibration file so unity picks up this file and adjusts uh, ad adjusts its shader according to that so yeah so this is uh, the demo that i wanted to show you uh, so the calibration works really fine and um, like if you can see closely like i modeled it in a way so that like a uh, higher grounds will have a white ice like thing over them and uh, you can even check the calibration like if when I uh, put my hand over the top it is uh, uh, tracking it pretty pretty, ni pretty nicely so the low lying areas are reds the little high ones are yellow uh, so this is another setup in which like in uh, I have created a hill kind of a thing so you can see the ice here and uh, so the calibration is pretty okay uh, like only sometimes like what happens is that if you require to adjust it I have provided the keys here so like up down left and right so suppose if the calibration is bit off you can always adjust it manually uh, but you would you, but uh, uh, most of the time you would not need it uh, but if still you do you can adjust that uh, the calibration is pretty okay as in like even if there is a small like even if you suppose if you need to manually shift it uh, the other parts will be pretty okay 
as in like uh, sometimes the image is just shifted uh, a bit and all you need to do is like just get it to get it towards the right place and um, it happens only a few it happened in front of me only a few times so i just added that functionality other than that it will work pretty pretty fine so yeah that's all thanks